Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Discord. Elysium. John Madden. John Madden. John what Madden. Ayo, ayo. 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 Ayo.
all right, I guess that makes sense if you're talking to a cop. <laughs> it's like, look, hey, I just heard that. I'm not testing. You can't put me on the stand, cop. <laughs> I plead the fifth, sixth, and seventh. Eight. I like. I like to plead the uh, the uh, fourth amendment myself. Which one's the fourth amendment? Oh. Wait, no, it's the third amendment, isn't it? Which yeah, one's the one? Is... What's the one's the one about quartering troops? Is that the third amendment? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, there's one about we're, quartering we're troops. Both, we're both Canadians. <laughs> so. Yeah, we don't have a first amendment. We have a charter of human rights and freedoms. Yes. Th- sorry. I like to plead the third. <laughs> the third. You, uh, uh, you may, the, it's the, it places restrictions on quartering soldiers in private homes without the owner's consent. What? Yeah. You can't just, the army can't just roll up to your house in the States and say, give me. You have to give, yeah. you have to give them pre- consent. Yeah, and then they quarter you. Like I missed what? The bleep. I heard quartering. <laughs> quartering. I, I I swear I heard you say you can't quarter soldiers. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, like like as in like 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 soldiers can't stay in your house. Like use use oh. your house as quarters without your permission. I thought you meant quartering. <laughs> they grab each of your limbs and pull in every direction. Like, They're not allowed to do that either. But that's that's another we part should, of the. We should really have a discussion about. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, uh, I believe the third on this. Let's continue. Uh, what did these teenagers by the canal say? That the man was killed because he assaulted a local woman. I've asked around a bit. This seems to be the accepted story around Martinez. The lieutenant consults his notebook, his eyebrows knitted in concentration. Oh, we haven't heard any reports about an assault in connection with the lynching. Where did it take place and when? <laughs> Uh, that seems inconsistent, right? Haven't we heard about this from the Hardy Boys? Yeah, like, why is this uh, differing? Yeah, because I, I, I hope I didn't, like, just, like, break break sequence myself by talking about it. But, yeah, I thought that the Hardy Boys were talking about it. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Are just a minor Hardy inconsistency, Boys? if anything. Are the Hardy Boys teenagers? Like, does that they look really fucking hardened and had the piss drained out? No, of them. I think I think that that's like by teenagers she means teenagers, right? But who knows? Okay. Well, in we'll, my we'll, you know, I mean, apparently, like everyone in town has heard about it at this point, right? So, yeah. Well, the smell. Last alone. Sunday night at the Whirling in Rags, the hostel by the gates. Supposedly, the Colonel was drunk, maybe on narcotics too. Either way, he's alleged to have sexually assaulted a woman. Sometime later, a group of dock workers got their hands on him. Who is the woman? That's a good question, officer. I don't have the slightest idea. As I said, it's a rumor. About a rumor. In any case, it's what the Colonel's remaining colleagues believe. You meet her soon enough, you feel. Okay, in my Empire, if you say so. I have the faintest feeling, and it might have been Elizabeth. Call it a call it a one of your precious hunches. Hey, that's that's why you're here, man. You don't know the plot, so feel free to speculate wildly. I, uh, I'm I'm a, I approve. Maybe they, yeah, or maybe there was never an assault, and it was a false flag attack. Hmm. I mean, it's it's true. We don't know. We don't know yet. I mean, I, to be fair, it's not like the Hardy Boys are exactly a reliable source, right? You know, they have ever, they they killed him for some reason, um, and you know, it, this makes it seem like they had a pretty good one, right? So, yeah. Anyway, also, we'll have to yeah. see. I guess that's our job, right? We're we're cops. We got to investigate. So, yeah. Where are the remaining two mercs now? And can you they've give gone them to ground, as it were? I don't recommend seeking them out. For one, they're almost certainly armed to the teeth. They don't have the same respect for the Revachol citizens' militia as I do. To put it bluntly, they think you're vigilantes, ghetto savages. It will not be a fruitful meeting. <clears throat> oh, thanks for making me sound cool, Joyce. Yeah, also... I wish I was a ghetto savage. That's a, that'd be a cool name for something. I don't know what yet. <laughs> Although... Mm, is that like? Is wait? I think they're vigilantes. So like, I feel like ghetto savage is like a nice way of saying super predator, which has a horrible implication. Nah, I mean it's it's basically like they think that you're like I guess 
like well yeah like a vigilante right like you know yeah. like you don't actually have the authority to you know do law stuff right we gotta go find, like 19 more shacks i'm excited <laughs> so excited <clears throat> Uh, we'll so, still need to know where they are. Probably good to at least know if she knows. You know, yeah. we might we might want to avoid them, but all the better to avoid them if we know where we are. Yeah, you can't avoid something if you don't know if it's there. You're likely to run into them eventually. When that happens, I'll be in a better position to mediate if I don't appear involved. I see. So she's being cagey. Mm. So we can use our a red check for logic. Which is stupid high. Which is very high. Uh, so it seems pretty easy. Uh, our logic is only three. But we get plus three bonus because the clothes didn't fit right and we didn't pass the background check. Don't know what, the... don't know what those are in reference to. I'm... I could look it up later uh, and we can figure it out. Do you want to make this check or do you want to agree to steer clear? I am really confident that we're going to make this check, so I think we should just punch it. All right, let's punch it. One is obviously the scat leader at the harbor gates. The one chanting the idiotic ah, slogans. That's right, Caillou's clothes didn't disguise. fit, right? Right, yes, I was gonna say, the clothes didn't fit. That's the guy whose clothes didn't fit. Yeah, he's wearing the dead guy's clothes, I bet, and he's pretending to be the guy who died, I bet. <laughs> Just, I guess they look maybe similar enough, but it's been a week and we can't confirm because he's been rotting. The other has a vantage wrong, point in a building south of the roundabout. They were keeping tabs on you while you were canvassing the lorry drivers. Okay, so there you go. Hell yeah. Our logic has logic to our way out of this. We, Man, it's nice to do some actual like Sherlock Holmes type shit for a change. Oh yeah, just <laughs> we, we, were, we rolled the dice high enough and the mind palace uh, gifted us graciously. Uh, what must be the good and ill-fitting work clothes? A scab leader. Yeah. Maybe so. I still hope you heed my advice. There's no need to kick the hornet's nest. For all your talk of averting this catastrophe, the situation at the gate is a border keg. Does this not bother you? Catastrophe, Ken. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> of course it bothers me, Lieutenant. But my hands are tied. How would my employer react if it appeared I were intervening on behalf of the Union? Your concern may be appearances. Ours is keeping the peace. Oof. Damn. Also, what does it matter? You paid us to do stuff on your behalf, so you're already saving face. Well, no, but that's his point. That's his whole point, right? Like, yeah. she's like, I can't intervene on behalf of the Union because I'm supposed to be playing hardball with them. Oh, no, absolutely. One is probably in a building overlooking the roundabout. Oh no, is it uh, Leo? I don't want it to be Leo. No, no, no. Because the, the roundabout is where all the trucks are, right? I know. I just, yeah. I, don't, I don't like the idea that old Leo is uh, the killer. Yeah, no, Leo's stashed away in the harbor. I, I'm pretty sure that whoever this is referring to, it's not him. Who killed him? Squid Game. He would afford a good vantage point. In any case, it's practically inaccessible. Where is your radio for contacting them, if I may ask? Do you have an earpiece? <gasps> Heavens no. I'm not an undercover agent. There's a short wave at the ship's wheel. All right. I think the overlooking building has to be top of the whirling and rigs. My just. My just. I think after this we should go bust open some doors and look for it. All right. Uh, but first, another question. Give me the answers. Joyce. I hope I can answer it better. This colonel, the one who was hanged. If you mean, did I see him alive? Yes, but I did not know him. Was his, was his name Luca too? Lely, his service name, a nom de guerre, most likely. He wouldn't divulge his full name. Only one of them did. A bad sign if there ever was one. Uh, tell me about the others first. One is a man. Corty, they call him. A nickname as well. The other a woman, Phyllis DePaul. Corty is the gunner, I believe. DePaul is a radio operator. What would you say was his eye color? The deceased's. 
She closes her eyes, trying to picture the man's face, then shakes her head. She failed her own test, and we saw it. Remember. You know, it's it's one of those things, whenever... It must be so interesting, like, trying to get people to recall stuff like this, and then them just realizing that you, they just have no idea what color someone's eyes are. You know? Yeah, that's, that's really hard, especially when you've been married to them for, like, five years. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right, man. Anything else? Nationality? What would you say was his age? He was 40. Or 50. It's hard to say which. He had a combat injury on his lower jaw. It made it difficult to estimate his age, or gauge his spatial expressions. Indeed. This matches the dental reconstruction we saw on the body. What else? Nationality? Accent? He was, uh, occidental, I think. Like brown hair, a mixed accent. Oranese. Or Messinian, maybe. His injury gave him an accent all his own. In a way, it was humanizing. He had to learn to speak through it. Through the injury. That's all I know, I guess. I only met him once. Alright. Well, that's, that's more info on the body, maybe, if we want to go back and look at it again. Yeah. Also, like that's that's kind of neat. Like, uh, Zalmi Polinsky in American Pop got shot in the throat, and he had an interesting way of speaking after. I mean, I mean, it must, right? Yeah. It was it was only funny in the movie because it was uh, a through light of like, oh, your voice changed finally. And he's like, ah, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. But how much time do we have? Until When's the time bomb start? Down the Truthfully, I don't know. It depends on their progress identifying the members of the lynch mob and their impatience. They don't report their progress to you? Not on this matter. I'm afraid they consider this a personal initiative. It's a matter of days, not weeks. Always good to hear. Good, that means we don't have to spend so much of the whirling in our eggs, because that much a night is way too much. I spent my stimulus already. <laughs> Mommy needs stimmy. All right, uh, that's enough for now, I guess. On this, yeah. we can always ask these questions again if we need the information again. I am sorry yeah. to have been the bearer of bad news. If there is anything else I can help you with, please ask. Ask her about the tattoos. Yeah, ask her about the tattoos. Do of you course. have these from your disco days? Excuse my hesitation before. For about half a minute, in silence, she holds them for about half a minute. <laughs> Look at this graph. <laughs> oh baby, don't 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 dig those up, Tyler. I, dark no, years. No, you know what? These are these skeletons. We use their bones as drumsticks now, as tools that we build our future with. And it was taken with the trigger not long ago. This is the man's upper body. There were no more markings on his hands or legs. Let's stay quiet. All right. Her mouth is relaxed. The accordion lines near her mouth vanish. The pearls of her eyes move slowly on the photo's surface. Alright, that's enough time, I guess. What do you think? What do you see? Uh, sorry. I was trying to see if I can read the web of interdependencies between these points. The stars. I can't. But that's how you read this story. The points themselves don't have letters, numbers, anything. Their size, location on the body, and distance from each other tells you what they represent. Let's also say nothing. And then she's, then she's pondering it. I was gonna say, she's, this sounds like the beginning of a soliloquy. Yeah. It's also cities. On the oceans. This is an Oranese map of the waterways, a sailor's tattoo worn by wayfarers of the DeLorean century. As early as 300 years ago, the sailors would mark their bodies to map their travels. This is, this is water world levels of uh, weird tattoo, and I'm, I like this. I'm I was going to say, we just let, her, uh, just let her figure it out. <laughs> I'm Ke we are now Kevin Costner, Harry. Uh, what travels did the dead man take? Quite a few. Vredefort, the Oranese capital, traditionally stands on the right shoulder. 
He started somewhere near here, I think. What next? Then he made his way to the Pretto Grangi, through what I think must be the Stutz Canal, an artificial channel through the Occident. From the Pretto, he sailed to the Insulindic Ocean, first the Semenese Islands, then this. What is it? Revachol. Those are the two constants. Redefort on the shoulder, and Revachol in the heart. They started the tradition of these maps right after the discovery of Insulinde, at the dawn of the inter age. The old, old world passing by, and the new, new world already here. Ooh. You said you can't read it. I can't. This man was no sailor, and these are no ports. I can understand geographic fragments, but not their meaning. What is that? That's Interesting. Wild. I love for doing this. Uh, you know, like this is like their world's version of colonialism, which is uh, interesting to think about. Again, I gotta find a book on this game, and so can you just give me like the encyclopedia of this world, because as fascinated <laughs> as I am by just learning things as I go, like I would love just a a Codex Seraphinianus or something of of Ramachal and this world we live in. So good. <laughs> I mean, I, I do. I think one of the charming things about the game is that it's it's vague enough that you gotta kind of put the pieces together yourself, you know. And it gives them a, plenty of space and mystery to like pack more in. You Absolutely. Know? And I just love. I do this. think like if there's one thing that like you know that I that I I really appreciate is that like the game doesn't like you know like there's not like uh there's no like central lore book that explains things to you and when there occasionally is it tells you lies you know <laughs> <laughs> like you know because they're because that's how like real like I, I i love when games take an approach to history that is like real history where you don't you don't know everything for sure and a lot of the stuff you think you know for sure is lies <laughs> yeah because all these books are written by people with their own perspectives so of course uh, there is inherent bias in all of it as we know mm -hmm. in our world exactly and like it you know the that's the there there is like often like a really big emphasis in like the the quote-unquote lore world of finding the truth such as it is and i think that like you know there's nothing wrong with that you know there's nothing wrong with digging through a game to try and sort out what really was going on but i think you know we do that in real history too but there is no solid answer nobody's gonna you know give you a little check mark and confirm your wiki entry in real life you know unless yeah. that's what getting published means i don't know i i think it does i mean how else do you, <laughs> how else do you get that blue text on wikipedia if you don't publish your work citation needed all right uh what next uh what is the use of this map i feel like she really explained it already but uh i wonder if she yeah. can elaborate the sailor's soul would use it to fly back home if they should die abroad this is a sort of contraption to be reeled back in by. The silver cord, they would call it. Alright. Yeah, this is like a Beach Boy's ability in JoJo Part 5 where he had like the fishing rod. <laughs> Keshi, Keshi was able to do that. Caught his brother on the hand and he's flying on the side of the train. It was sick. If you're looking for a good time, just Google Grateful Dead fight JoJo. Just saying. <laughs> Anyways, back on topic. Uh, do we want to ask who could tell us more about them? Yeah, who could tell us more? His platoon members? The other contractors. Though I do not suggest you go and show them that picture. This man was their friend and comrade. Surely there are other people to ask about the tattoo. This is not necessary to complete the task, officer. It's a dangerous side task. Search elsewhere. Our woo. All right, our encyclopedia and Joyce are both warning us that this might be a dangerous course of action. But uh, how? How? This is a perfect. This is a perfect uh, question, Tyler. How curious are you about this made-up culture? <laughs> how much do you really want to know? Who are the Mercs again? That's the ones by the. By well, the, we know uh, one of them is the um, is the guy who's uh, the scab leader. Uh, yeah. The other one we have a name. Uh, and a location, but we don't know much about her other than that. That's right. 
yeah, we're not going to get anything from that guy at the front, I guess. Although, would it get under his skin if we were to show him that tattoo? Like, it, like everything is saying like it's dangerous, but I'm wondering if it like if it's if there were just for a general safety, but how much would it actually benefit the case, even if we're saying like it's not necessary to complete the task? Like, what doors would it open? I, I know, know that's a it's a vague thing to say out loud, but it's like that's the thought process. <laughs> uh, hmm. That's you. This could be like another task that we just don't fully complete. Maybe like the armor, or uh, I don't know. I really want to know, but I know like it's uh, we got so much going on right now. I don't think it is necessary. If like two people, including your own psyche, is telling us we don't have to do it. All right. So like All I said, right. we can we just don't have to do it if you don't want to do it. Let's, let's not do it. I will on our second gig. Maybe we'll do it. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I can. There's, there's, a, we can always play again or, or do it a different, do it a different thing. And, but yeah, okay, we'll leave it off the schedule. Don't want to risk it. Fair enough. Yeah. I am relieved you think so. I don't think deciphering that tattoo should come before public security. All right. Well, that's it's all good. for the tattoos then. Yeah. Is there anything else I can help you with? Anything else you want to go back over before we? Uh... No, I, I think we're good for now. All right. All right. So. Uh, we can ask other people who aren't. We still have that option. Oh, so it's the... Uh, wait, so did it not matter if we chose that or not, or is that a different thing? Well, it, no, no. It, that one, that might have given us a quest to ask, like, them specifically about the tattoos. But we can still oh. ask other people. We don't... It's just... This is our way of saying maybe it's not a good idea to ask the mercs specifically, since, you know, these gotcha. tattoos were their friends, are on their friend's dead body, you know? Yeah, okay, no, that's a good point. I'm just glad it's not, like, a task task, but we can still, like, do that if we can. Like, All right. Cool, we got that uh, avenue open. What next? Let's go bust down a door in the Whirling and Rigs to find groups. I think that is the vantage point that they were talking about. All right, let's head back to the Whirling. And we see What's-Her-Face just smoking for hours and hours every single day. Like, I bet she smells great. You know, you also, can always smoke, like, uh, clove cigarettes. They'll smell it. They do. I I think they're okay. I, I know people who say they taste like wax, though. But uh, I also think they're wrong. You gotta get the DR in brown, not the DR in black. That's the strong one. Alright. Back on the whirling. Uh, right. Anywhere you want to look around specifically in here? Who's the, who's the guy at the table over there? I don't remember if we talked to uh, him. I don't think... Yeah, he's just an NPC. I don't think you oh. can talk to him. Oh, or maybe you can. Let's see. Yeah, he just says it's all about money, you know. And you know, of course he'd say that. He looks like Moby. He does look like a bald man. Yeah. All bald men look the same. So. All bald men are Moby, but not all Mobys are bald men. All right. Now that we're here, anywhere you wanted to investigate? I think we should just head right on upstairs. All right. Uh, I don't think any of these. I still want to see the cryptozoologist's husband. Yes, we'll have to wait until they lower the water lock for that tomorrow. No, we, we should get a, use Kim's car to do a sick jump. Alright, we're upstairs. Alright, let's find the door. Alright, well, um, there's what's... we know that um, Plastia is on the roof and this is her door. Is that what you meant? Like, you want to talk to her? Uh, not just yet. Okay. Uh... I mean, Cla I do want to talk to her because I do. We do see her on the roof a lot, but like, let's just figure out like what. Like, I just don't remember the layout here fully, so let's uh, just check it out. Right, no problem. Well, that's Kim's room. It's locked. It's oh. our room. There is a move. there's a thing over here. Ooh, what is that new? I don't remember that door. Yeah, it seems new. Kim tries not to look at your broken down bathroom door. Kim, we were having a were... thought. What are we thinking? Kim of? also tries not. To look at the pile of tape viscera on the carpet, or the weird suitcase on the hat rack, or the potted plant dying in the corner. But it's all just too morbid to ignore. Okay, everything but the plants, because that's not our plant. We didn't bring that with us. We didn't you don't know that. <laughs> it's not my job to water the fucking plant, it's the hotels. The man is finding it hard not to trip on the tape and not to send any of the bottles rolling across the floor. Okay, the unidentifiable sludge makes it hard for him to breathe. Smells of vomit in here. 
Uh, number three is a really power move way to say that. Yeah, that's uh, Johnny Rotten style. Yeah, also, number four is something I would say in real life. Would you say it if your room looked like this? <laughs> I have said that when my room looked like this. In fact, my room did look like this at one point when I had bed bugs. I had to keep everything in a single pile. <laughs> if somebody saw it, I was like, oh, you know, this is where I eat and sleep because me have bed bugs. You only have one surface to live on because they follow your carbon monoxide emissions. Dioxide? I don't know what we exhale. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. Let's go. You know what? That's what I'd say in real life. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> and by that, you mean crimes against humanity? Hey! Hey, now it's called Cards Against Humanity. We don't play that anymore. That's true. We don't. I, I defy the bourgeoisie. Yes. <laughs> Let's go with number I have two. no idea what that means. <laughs> Here, let me loan you this copy of the Communist Manifesto. Okay. This one, my room is messy because communism. All right, uh, we can investigate stuff in here. There's this locked door, I believe. Let's try the locked door. Yeah, there's the mirror. I wonder if the mirror hangs on the bathroom. That's wall. right. We can in it your face. Adorned. We recited the poem, Tommy, about mirrors, and that gives us a plus four, and it's still a 3% chance, because it's an 18, and we have two electrochemistry. Punch it. I'm confident today. I'm on a roll. I'm, I'm hopped up on kefir and black licorice tea. Uh, let me uh, get in the uh, in inventory first. Right. Cause... Oh, we actually have electrochemistry plus one. That's hilarious. <laughs> From what? The, the clothes or the crowbar? Oh, we got the fingerless gloves. We got the flare cup trousers, although I guess that doesn't matter, right? Yeah. yeah they're the same. Well, it's like or wait, no, they're not quite, but the same for electrochemistry purposes. Okay. I can just wear two pairs of pants. I know, right? Also, I like All those right. flare ankles because it means like our, our feet and are cut hangs off in the circulation. The bathroom wall. It went up to 8%. It's your face. Come on, boxcar. Because we you can try this again. All right. Yeah. Still not happening. Yeah. It won't come off that easy. All right. At this point, we should look over at Kim and just go, "Help, Kim! <laughs> Who am I?" <laughs> just start crying. Can All we right. Actually, can we actually interact with the door in the back, or is that just? Uh, it's highlight? locked. Yeah. Ah, we can't. There's no. It's not letting us interact with it at all. Like it just. It just makes a locking sound. I don't know if you can hear that. We can hear. It. I just didn't know if. Uh... Yeah. Good. Okay. Well, let's try the balcony. Actually. Okay. Let's do this in a grid. Sure. I say let's do this in a grid, but we just broke the grid sequence. Yep. Here's the balcony. It's pretty straightforward. Again, there's nowhere to climb. There's no ladder. Oh, hey. Ooh, thoughts. Briny wind. I hate briny wind. Gotta, yeah. It's like kim kimchi air. Can't talk to her. Oh. Yell to her. Yell to her like a forlorn lover. I wish I could. I wish I could. Oh. Damn. There's no way that we can just scale anything. Oh. No, unfortunately, if you click around up here, it, it doesn't let you do anything. Darn. Highlight's a woman and we can't talk to her. Damn, that's relatable. Alright. Kim let us into your room. Let's see how clean you are, Mr. Judgy. Unfortunately, people do no such thing. Yeah. Also, I just noticed that's a poker table over there, not a coffee table. It's a it's a table. I mean, there's cards on it. <laughs> it's like it's made of felt, though. Or at least I'm assuming it's felt. I guess it could it could just be green. <laughs> it could be green. I like the idea that they just put a gambling table up here. Yeah, that does that does amuse me as well. Yeah. I mean, Let's... yeah, do you want to knock on the door here, or...? Knock on her door. It's pretty much the only other thing to do up here, so might as well. The door is closed. Let's knock again. Still no answer. Knock again. Much harder. Still nothing. The okay. lieutenant gives you a quick glance. Yeah, let's not... I feel like trying the handle would be 
counter to the kind of character we're trying to cultivate here. Let's just right. leave. So what happens if we try the handle? Would it just open? In which case, we're just breaking and entering with no warrant, then that's fucked up. Um, I mean, who knows? Oh, we got another thought. What are you thinking about? Nothing on the front page. Oh, this is from this newspaper over here. Yeah, le Trumon. Trompe Monde, yeah. We should have probably seen that a few days ago. Okay. Uh, back downstairs? Or yeah, anything else you want to look at up here? I'm trying to think what could possibly be up here and how she got up there. Like, I really want to go to her room, but I don't want to break in, so we should try it at night. Try, like, knocking on the door again later? Yeah. You mean? No way she, yeah, there's no way she's smoking every single day, every single minute of the hour. Alright, well, we'll keep that in mind. Uh, but for now, back downstairs? Back downstairs. Alright. Anything else you want to just ask around in here, or look around in here some more, or...? Let's guard with the tattoos. Alright. I know he's- maybe he's one of them. Can I help you? Uh... A thing at the Whirling? Or... Yeah, I saw another- no, 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 I saw another thing at the Whirling. I just realized I if we asked him for a drink, we'd do that thing again. I love those. Nothing here. Yeah, no, not damn it. Okay. Yes. Wait! I just realized, I can we go back thing. there? Great. Uh, I love mysterious those. blue door. Maybe they'll let us into a fridge. Oh yes, that door. Sure. There's nothing mysterious. Yeah, we've about been it. down here before. No, I don't have a kid. Or some boring. He's attempting to maintain an air of indifference. And we it's are like, I think you'd like to know what's back okay. there. And he's like, Little. So I haven't yeah. opened it. Ah, I have it. cleaned yeah. the whole place a hundred times. He hasn't over. seen the key, the so animals. he doesn't know. I haven't find found the key. the key, so good luck with that. We have a yes. I'm, I'm Max. We have a crowbar. Can't use it. Uh, I think so. I don't remember exactly. We can we can always just go click on the door and find out. I don't remember if we even clicked on the door. Uh, we must have. You see a heavy steel door yeah. with we tried to push the on the door. door. The we Kobo, touched the door. Kobo yeah. Yeah. Paint. yeah. I'm yeah, I'm drawing a blank as to what we can do uh, right now. We we can't confront the Hardy Boys about anything. The cryptozoologist wife have already like taken the zoology task. Uh, I already talked to everybody outside the, the the strike place. We talked to. I feel like I this is a point where I've been putting off making some hard choices in terms of just massive progression, like uh, talking to uh, Everard Clark and just uh, opening the door like he asked and seeing if that's a progression thing, or who talked to Caillou, just seeing if that sets anything off. Like, well, I mean, we can we can look at the journal. I mean, yeah. we can talk to Kim uh, about the this pissing competition that that might yeah. be open up new stuff that we can figure about. There's also, um, yeah, I mean, like we can also go back and investigate the body again because we've gotten new information. Like I know we were there was some stuff that we were right, concerned yeah. about. We want to look at that. Um, but yeah, I mean. It's like Let's, let's, I'll tell you what, uh, let's call the episode here, uh, we can talk about it a bit, and, uh, next time, uh, we'll head back out there and, uh, continue the investigation. We're gonna keep on keeping on, just keep on keeping on. Alright. John Madden, John Madden. John Madden, John Madden. Hey. 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 Football. <laughs>